Hello YouTube and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is a tutorial on how to make a server using Bucket, the new HMOD as people call it now. So what you need is you're going to go to your internet browser, Google Chrome, or um, the Firefox. And what you're about to do next, you're going to have to make a new folder. <coughs> Name anything you like. Uh, just make it. Minecraft test. There we go. Minecraft test. Get up there. Right, what we need to do now is we need to go to this little address here. I'll put it in the description so you don't have to worry about that. Click enter and Google Chrome is so efficient it lets you save it. And what you want to do is you want to drag it into your folder, your Minecraft folder that you're going to run your server on. What you do is you wanna get rid of the all this except for craft bucket job, except for the craft bucket here. Otherwise, when you start to run the server, it won't al let you allow it. Right, what you wanna do now is you want to go. I'll provide this in this in the description as well. So what you wanna do is. You get this, copy and paste it. You turn these last three numbers into 1024 zero, 024 zero, and save as. Save as. Save as a. Now, when you're in your Minecraft folder, you do this. You type in either server. Starter dot bat, and then you go to all files like that. Wait, I'll just go into the desktop for a minute. It's an easier way of doing it there. Okay, just put it in there. No, it should be on our... there it is. Now what we should do now is that we should run it. It should go like this. Now these, you don't have to worry, they just... They, they just can find these folders right here. And once that starts to load up, you go to your... You still go into your internet browser and go type in what is my IP.net and this, is, and this here will be the IP for your for your um, server. So yes, that's and oh, actually, what we want to do next after that is type in your type in your IP address by going into the command prompt, which is cmd, then type in IP config and scroll up and you'll need to this is the default gateway your actual IP to type in here what you want to do is when you come up you'll get either get you get this and it'll be admin password 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 or admin admin could be any of them depends on what kind of router you have I have a Netgear smart wizard one um, and what you do is, if you have a netgate one, you go to port forwarding slash port triggering. You go in here, you go into edit service, oh, sorry, not edit service, you go into add service, add custom service. You type in your service name, like you type, you can literally do it, anything Minecraft server. Make sure it is TCP, then 25565 for both of them and then the IP address at the end which will be the IPv4 address right here so you do what for and it, wouldn't, it won't allow me to do it because I've already got one that has the same port number and so what we will do is we will open up Minecraft and then Login. 
There go, I'll be in. Go on mod pair. You type in your IPv4 address. Yeah, sorry, your IP address is wrong. What you got from uh, what is my IP.net? <coughs> sorry, and uh, it will log you in to your server. Now, mine's already, my server's already been done, so yeah, so if you'd like to join our server, you can. I will um, make it a public server soon. Oh, let's escape, disconnect. Okay, access Minecraft, and then that's basically it. And you can just customize your server properties. Just going here. Just create a new one actually, because I'm going to put that in the description. So what we'll do is, if this doesn't read a notepad file, you're going to have to drag it into a notepad file, and then you can customize these whatever way you want. You can have them on true. Hell world because I've, I think that's working now. You can have true or false for monsters. Online mode true. Always keep that true. Do not keep it false, otherwise it will not work. Max players, you can do anything from well anything. Server IP, leave that blank. It is very important that you leave that blank. And the server port is important too. Do not change that because that is what you need. That is the same port number on the. Um, and your browser that you enter, and because Minecraft only runs on the 25565 port as well, so yeah. Okay, guys, if I've missed anything out, please comment on the comment box below and give it a like, a favorite, and a subscribe, please. And thank you for watching this Minecraft tutorial. And um, I hope to see you soon.